We all love stories. We're born for them. Stories affirm who we are. We all want affirmations that our lives have meaning. And nothing does a greater affirmation than when we connect through stories. I wasn't scared the day he was born. He was the sickest baby on the floor in the unit out of like 82 babies they can hold. the choice, do everything or do nothing. We want to give him a chance. Try to put downward pressure because I feel like... I didn't want false hope. Like, please be honest with me, how is he really doing? I pulled one of the doctors aside. He says, let me just tell you that the numbers are all against Francis. Some days you can handle everything in front of you, and then there was a few days that you just, you couldn't handle what was happening. One of our primary nurses gave us a stack of markers and said, why don't you draw something bright and colorful on his whiteboard, something to make it feel more like home. So we had my sister Janie draw a Finding Nemo theme on the whiteboard. It brought a smile to everybody on that floor who was working that day. Everybody loves Finding Nemo. He was really not doing well. Um, and so I, I asked for some extra prayers, and they, sure enough, they came flooding in. Yeah, the crazy part of the whole Finding Nemo theme, super random. One day, Maureen's brother sent us a TED Talk. I remember just being like, okay, cool, TED Talk, you know, thank you. <laughs> and at first, I didn't know who Andrew Stanton was. We realized, oh, Andrew Stanton, but yeah, the guy from Pixar the creator and writer of Finding Nemo, and the other awesome Pixar films that I love. It wasn't until the very end of his TED Talk that absolutely blew my mind. When I was born, I was born premature, that I came out much too early, and I wasn't fully baked. I was very, very sick. And when the doctor took a look at this yellow kid with black teeth, he looked straight at my mom and said, he's not gonna live. All of a sudden, Maureen and I are looking at each other like in tears, <laughs> realizing that, wow, it's amazing, you know? It's amazing that he too was a preemie. It was really inspiring hearing his story and, <laughs> and how much he's amounted to and how much thankfulness he has towards his parents for giving him the chance of life, ultimately. I was in the hospital for months. I lived. Whatever I ended up being good at, I would strive to be worthy of the second chance I was given. A month later or so, my brother, who sent the TED Talk, called us from California. He had just gotten off the plane. And he said, guess who I sat next to? Andrew Stanton. My brother showed him some pictures and, and kind of told him about Francis. And then before the plane ride was over, Andrew Stanton handed my brother a piece of paper that said, to Francis William, just keep swimming. And I can only imagine the great things that Francis would be doing later on in his life.
just keep swimming. And that's what Francis did. He just kept swimming throughout the NICU and, and he continues to just keep swimming and thriving. We wanted to give him a chance.